بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته my dear brothers and sisters in Islam Today we're going to talk about something very important It is so important that it was actually prescribed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the heavens It is that important It is the only act of worship that nobody else can do on your behalf after you die you Guessed it? Correct It's the salah You know after you die somebody can make up your uh, hajj they can pay your zakah, they can make up your Ramadan of fasting, but can they make up your salah? No. It is the only act of worship according to the scholars, it is a physical ibadah, physical act of worship. Nobody can be able to make it up to you after or for you after you die. But it is the only one that you will be held accountable personally on judgment day first thing. So let's talk about time. The time is money, so let's talk about money. Could you imagine you have a good friend of yours that works in the stock market and he told you I have inside information, the stock is going to skyrocket, you're going to make lots of money, man. Now we're talking about money in this land of milk and honey, it ain't anything funny. So let's talk about your language. Will you be able to miss this phone call from your friend, the stockbroker? Of course not. You're going to wake up, you put the alarm, you're going to make sure your, your neighbors wake you up, your, your wife or your, your husband will not make you go to sleep. This is lots of money, man. Could you imagine that phone call? is your salah, your adhan, your friend is the caller of prayer, the stock is, up, is the prayer itself, the reward is jannah, jannah, lots of reward my brother, we'll talk about that in the end inshallah, but most of us come up with excuses, like what, I have to comb my rabbit's hair, you know what, I'm traveling man, it's cool, if you're traveling, every four rakat you make into two, and you can actually combine it, well I don't know the direction, that's fine, make your best inshallah to find the direction is, if not then just pray inshallah, there is no masjid, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says this whole earth is a masjid, I don't have water, that's fine, you can do tayammum inshallah, dry a balloon, you know, I can't stand up, sit down. I can't sit down, lie down. I can't lie down, move your head. I can't move my head, move your eyes. I can't move my eyes. Think about it in your brain. I can't think about it. You're dead. So pray before you're dead, inshallah. Because we know some brothers and sisters only come to the masjid once in their lifetime when they're dead. So let's not be that, inshallah. My brothers and sisters, you're now thinking that I'm doomed, man. What do I do? I haven't been praying for such a long time. Never despair of Allah's mercy. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives all sins except shirk. This is in the hereafter. Could you imagine, my brothers and sisters? Standing in front of Allah on Judgment Day. Oh my slave, you haven't prayed. Why? You will say, I was so rich. I have people to see, places to go, things to do. I was too busy. The yen is up, the dollar is down. I was too busy. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say what? Were you richer than Sulaiman? Sulaiman did, did not deter, that wealth did not deter him from praying. And the other man will say, um, wealth did not help him. So I guess I was poor. I was so poor, man. How poor were you, dude? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, are you poorer than Isa alayhi salam? He says, this earth is my bed, the heavens is my cover. But that did not deprive or deter him from doing the prayers. Another one says, you know, I was such a good looking guy. I was so good looking. Yeah, I can't keep mouth me. Out. Right, sure, akhi. Allahu Akbar. We, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say, were you more beautiful than Yusuf alayhi salam? Of course not. Now what happens? You will be praying this prayer anyway. If you did not pray it in this beautiful air conditioned room in this life, in this dunya, you will be praying in the hereafter, waliyadu billah, in a nasty place. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. But now, what do you do? We say that take a shower with the intention of tawbah, repentance. Declare the shahada, and only do the five obligatory prayers, inshallah. You don't have to make up anything else. Because of the opinion of the scholars, we're not going to go into it, inshallah. But imagine, my brothers and sisters, the reward, the abundance that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you. Imagine, Ukhti, you can eat as much chocolate as you want and you'll never have to do aerobics again. Imagine, Ukhti, this guy that you love now will give you flowers and he will actually write you poems. Imagine, my brothers, that you don't have to go to work. There is no school, there is no exams, there is no death, there is no illness, eternal pleasure. Every time you pray in this dunya, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will send you his angels to give you gifts. So, will you turn this offer down? Of course not. So I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us among those who listen to speech and follow the best of it. Wa akhir da'wam alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wa sallam ala alihi wa sahbihi wa tabi'in. Zakum Allah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.